What's going on guys, Chair That Asian here, and today we finally upgraded. So let's unbox the new camera, which is the Sony ZV E10. I've been smooth for so long, I'm trying to get rough. Fuck buffing my nails, dog. I'm trying to get buff. Fuck shaping my beard up, I'm liking the scruff. And fuck the hills, cause I'm living my life in the cut. Can't imagine that I'm gonna meet my wife in the club. We gonna see though, I feel like she more of a CEO. Or maybe she doing volunteer work. And so, why did I upgrade to the Sony ZV-E10 instead of the Canon M50 Mark II? Well, the reason being is because, one, I needed a new camera because this camera has been giving me issues lately and it's really been slowing me down on my videography and my photography and just overall making YouTube videos and making good content for you guys. And the second thing is the reason why I didn't buy the M50 Mark II was because even though it's way cheaper, it has so many flaws that I couldn't pass up on the ZV-E10 because the camera just came out a year ago that camera came out like a couple years ago so maybe three or four and still good but the lenses and overall the mirrorless series is eventually gonna die out and so that's why I chose the Sony ZV-E10 plus it has a flip out screen even though the Canon F50 also has a flip out screen but still it has way better features than what the ZV-E10 holds. Another reason why I switched from Canon to Sony was because I could finally shoot in S-Log3, I could finally color grade and make my stuff look really nice. Number two, I could finally look at myself while I'm recording and three their lenses their lens game is absolutely crazy it's way better on and on just to ramble about Sony I've been using Sony in the past for like a year or two I've used some of my friends uh, Sony a6000 series and that really what inspired me to get one of these and overall I'm really happy with what I've got and with what I've purchased today and I'm finally ready to say goodbye to the Canon EOS 2000D that I've had since COVID of 2020. <laughs> Think about us Chillin' on the uh, yeah Everything was perfect All the small things about being broke I never got to notice I took everything for granted When the moment was slow motion Got into a fender bender Whip so broken it was total Not to sound like I don't appreciate What they pay me But all the days in the basement We tryin' to recreate it Was I in a freaky lady From my high school Now she on She looking at how it glow 50-50 she gone Chillin' on the west side Everything was perfect Back in 2012 Before a record hit the surface Had a few girl I was juggling I ain't never did the circus Had a phone by motor Now that it's been four days with this camera, I still haven't got the perfect settings yet. Overall, this camera is great, but the only downside with me using this camera is that I have nothing to film with or to shoot with. Um, since I'm out of high school, I have nothing to do. I've been literally stuck in my house for the past couple of weeks, just chilling or either going to work or just going to the soccer field and playing lacrosse or whatever. Literally, I don't have a car, so, uh, yeah, that's the problem. I'm 17, so. <laughs> but, anyways, um, I've been trying to get some practice shots and stuff like that. I'll put some photos up here right now. And as you can see, those are what it's like with basically everything or all the settings that I've tried using or just like some of them are just um, unedited um, I'll try editing them and see what they look like but anyways I've been looking at a bunch of other people reviewing this same exact camera and seeing what their reviews are about it and overall it's been very good um, and also I'm still at a loss of words because this camera does a thousand times better than what I used to have or what I still have. Um, it has a bunch of features that are just 
blows my mind it has this like outline this red outline where it actually tells you that you're recording and then it has this balance meter make sure you're in balance as well as the audio channel is make sure your channels are not peaking or anything i'm not screaming into the freaking mic um also there's just this red light where it tells you that you're actually recording and there's color profiles i could finally shoot an s log 3 finally because the thing is with canon i've been shooting in cinesile and then color grading my videos like that and it absolutely sucked and most of the time i don't even use cinesile i just change it to auto and then just let it do the work itself even though it's a bunch of like crap even with the iphone the thing is when processing video on iphone a bunch of it is literally just sharpening and it looks awful it makes everything look sharp and it just ugh, it's disgusting but even though i have the resources to get a camera like this i still recommend use your phone if you're first uh starting out on vlogging because that's really where i started so honestly guys if you want to get into vlogging use your phone use the accessories that you have or that you're able to use um or that you're able to get your hands on like literally i'm telling you iphone is literally perfect you could literally buy a separate iphone just for phone making i've seen people do it it's honestly really impressive because god knows what you can do with the iphone because i know the pro max series has the better cameras and stuff like that than the base models and i'm gonna stop rambling because this is taking away too much time It's currently 11.14 and I'm hungry so I'm gonna go make some food because yeah I'm literally hungry. There we go. Okay so let's see what's in the fridge. Well there's a dough We're gonna make fried rice. All right, we got leftover adobo, some eggs. We got the rice over there, and yeah. Um, I'm really trying to get used to like hand positioning because I was used to put my camera right here because this is where my cannon is. I used to put my cannon like this, and then now I have to stretch my arm out so it's 16 mil because it used to be 18 mil barely anything like barely 18 mil stretch went up jeez dude all right so we're gonna make fried rice as i said the rice is right there eggs right here a double right there and then the pen right here no, i'm kidding i'm not gonna do that so yeah um i think i'll just take you guys on the cooking process so yeah as you can see we got the adobo right there um but, uh, genius, dude. I hate this focus thing, but, um, we're trying to burn out the fat, and then we'll chop it up, and then we'll put the eggs in, and then we'll put the bread in, and then scramble everything up. So, yeah. Okay, so I didn't really, like, film, but... I can't even look at you Don't! Okay, let me, let me put this camera down. Look how good this looks. Oh my gosh. Um, 
I do. Look at this. And eggs. Like, dude, this is freaking amazing. But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my food and not give you any because I don't want to give you any. So yeah. Can't imagine that I'm gonna meet my wife in the club We gon' see though, I feel like she more of a CEO Or maybe she doing volunteer work in Rio It's not like I need her, but I would love to meet her Another day, another day